They did. They showed us the whole thing all set up. They had it all set up in a row. So it was, you know, you can tell here, it's, this is maybe 10 or 12 feet long. And so the whole thing with the end piece and everything was, gee, I don't know, maybe 25 feet long. It was quite a deal. It, it looked like way more furniture than we could ever get in this closet. And, you know, not only is it beautiful, it's functional. I, I, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of beyond belief. I'll show you some of the you can take a look at the hardware here and see that it's anything but Mickey Mouse. It's really first class stuff. And if you notice up there, there's a little piston. And that piston resides in every one of these doors. So that when you close it, it doesn't bang. You can't make this door bang. <laughs> and the, floor, the drawers are the same way. They have those European auto close function isn't that just too sexy for words <laughs> you are shoes instead of having them down on the bottom usually people just put their shoes under their clothes under the clothes rods you know and that's where we had had ours for years but uh, now we have the luxury of being able to see our shoes just pull them out and look at them grab what we want and go and the other thing that barbara wanted more than anything was a couple of jewelry drawers some place where she could put her jewelry out and see it all instead of having it all in a big old pile someplace or hanging on hooks all tangled together. So here we have um, some really beautiful jewelry drawers. There's a couple or three of those here. But uh, we had a safe in here because we didn't have a safe place to put her jewelry in. So now we have two jewelry drawers there. When we open these two cupboards in the back, there's um, two more of them in there. This is uh, another feature of the, of the cabinets is that for the guys, we can slide our pants over the top of this thing so, so we don't have a bunch of coat hangers to mess with. And you know, when we pull the drawer out, we can see what's there. And, and when we don't want to see what's there, it's hidden. Now, when we, when we got with, with Janina on this, she asked me, you know, what do you want? Let's just treat this like your side. And then she asked Barbara, now, what do you want? So you see there's a huge difference between the left side and the right side. So this is hers. And That's here. right. I wanted mine kind of closed off with, with doors. And that's pretty much what I got. And she wanted hers pretty open for the convenience of being able to grab and go. And that's what she got. Maybe one of the one of the asides in all of this was that we had an alarm system in the house, that white box back there. Mm -hmm. And there's probably 400 wires that come into that thing. And so I called the alarm company and asked them if they'd come out and move that. And they said, well, we could do that, but it would cost a small fortune because there's a jillion wires and they don't like to splice those wires. They like them to terminate where they are supposed to terminate so so the guy said if you can work around it you'll be a lot better off and doggone if they didn't just uh, the Jay Rambo people just worked around it and made it work the way it is so we didn't have to move it we had a uh, hamper in the in the uh, corner of our old closet and Janina said well you know that's not going to do you don't want a separate kind of funky funk, funky looking <laughs> hamper so so she built us in a nice hamper here. And I think she said to Barbara, if you decide you want one so you don't have to co-mingle with Bill's clothes, then uh, we could put one in on the other side. Not sure just where we would do that, but probably right here. So that's always an option. That's one of the neat things about this modular approach. They can come back and put doors on this side if Barbara decides she wants them or add a hamper or add some of these pants things or just about anything. We had all of our Christmas Santas and that wow. sort of thing, table displays, that sort of jazz. And of course they got dusty as heck. And so one of the things that we asked Janina to do was give us that shelf, but put doors on it so we keep the dust out. So when we want to use that stuff, we can just take it out and use it instead of having to blow it off with an air blower. Another neat thing about this is that, I don't know if you can see these holes on the camera, Jim, but mm -hmm. everything in this is, as I said, modular and adjustable, which means if Barbara decides she wants this rod four inches higher or four inches lower, it's just a matter of taking it out. 
moving the knobs and putting them back so, together. So I guess in summary I would say that we just we just couldn't be happier. They did a marvelous job and we would recommend J Rambo to anybody or everybody. <laughs>